Hi everybody, it's Erlene of Erlene Garcia Art and today I'm sharing with you this really cool cell phone bag holder that I created and at the end of the video there's a couple of others so stay tuned. So I cut two pieces of fabric that are about the size of my cell phone. I made it about an inch or so bigger just so I could have enough room to size it and that is a little keychain fob that I added and a rubber band so we could connect it with a button. Now the keychain fob, you can put your keys on it, you can connect it to the loop of your pants or to the edge of your purse. So on the front, I took two pieces of fabric, the Day of the Dead fabric I found at the Salvation Army, just a little swatch, so I was like, I'm gonna buy that, I love that color. So I sewed it together with leopard, and then now I'm going over the seam with a zigzag stitch, and then look how cool that looks. Now if I had more time, I probably would have done some embroidery to make it look like the crazy quilt style, but I just thought I'll just do a quickie today, and it does the same justice for me. So I added a little bit of green fabric there at the edge to complement her skirt. I took leftover jean pocket pinned it on the back and I'm just going to reinforce it at the edge so around it because it's on the outside you'll be putting your headphones or other little things inside of it so you want it to stay firm and if you're selling this you obviously don't want it to fall apart so there see headphones fit perfectly in there so now I'm going to cut a little sliver down the middle of the inside lining. I could have, I'm, I'm doing that for reverse purposes after I sew the two pieces together. Now I could have left the bottom open and reversed it that way. I just thought, oh, I'm gonna try something new. So I'm going to sew the back panel, the front panel and the lining together. And I'm going to flatten out those seams. This is my regular Frankenstein sewing. That's what I call my sloppy, messy sewing. I'm not a professional seamstress. Make sure that key fob is tucked in because you don't want to drive your sewing machine needle over it. Now, let's just trim off some of that because it's a little bit too long. But of course, like I said, keep sticking your cell phone in there to measure it out and cut off those little edges. And I'm using my Fisker's rotary cutter and it gives it such a clean edge and it's a lot quicker than scissors. So let's just sew around the complete bag with the two fabrics facing each other. I do not sew over my pins, well sometimes I do. My grandmother used to sew over her pins like she was driving 90 miles an hour but um, I would not recommend it because sometimes if the needle just hits it just right, it'll break your needle. So just continue sewing all the way around. And we're going to reverse it with that slit that I made on that pink and orange, really cool looking fabric. So I'm fraying the edges of the pocket to give it a lived in love look. And you can just sew that up, but I decided to take that little leftover piece of leopard and I'm just going to sew up that little slit with it. So I sewed just a little zigzag on the machine and I'm just going to use some blue embroidery floss, whatever I had around. Like I said, my Frankenstein sewing, nothing really matches. I don't even care if my bobbin matches and it kind of adds to the artsy fartsy look of my little bag. But of course, if you're if you like to match everything perfectly, do it as you like. I just like frankensteining it up. So, I'm going to what am I going to do there? Finger press it. I'm doing a voiceover on my video, so I'm going along with you just at the same time. So, I'm doing the top stitch and that is really something handy to do to keep your lining secure. Now do not sew over the rubber band. 
that's the rubber band that you stick in your hair. We're going to use that as um, to keep your cell phone holder closed. And then I'm going to add a button, but I do want to stress, do not sew over that rubber band. I went slow with the hand wheel. This is my collection of new and vintage buttons. So that one is from the 60s. It was probably a coat button. And I secured the thread. My red thread doesn't even match, but who really cares? This is the whole thing about the Frankenstein bag. Now that hair tie just fits around the button perfectly. Look at that pocket. Pretty awesome. And leaving the seams open, I liked it. Let the jean fray. So you can leave it at that point, but I decided I wanted to add some charms to it. Because you know, I do make jewelry and I have a ton of charms. So basically I took my MAC needle nose pliers, three jump rings, and I usually use two tools to do this, but I'm using one because most people just have one tool. And I open the split ring or jump ring, making sure that it's closed. Just lightly press on it. Voila, there's one. You could leave it at one, but I have to do three. And I'm going to put the larger one, the skeleton hand, in the middle because you want to balance out your charms. And I would suggest one, three, or if you want to be a little crazy, do five. Oh, that's so cool. And make sure it's closed. And you can use a little lobster clasp at the top like i said to hook on your belt loop your purse put more keys on it that little jingly jingly of the charms just really adds to it especially if you're going to sell these or if you're going to make them for holiday gifts it just adds and it looks like you took made that extra little effort to add little matching charms for your fabric. Now, I'm going to show you that I made two other bags and one is a necklace. One of them also connects just like this one. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Look at that, my little Frankenstein Day of the Dead cell phone case. There's the one that I used, the Space Cat, and I added some fun little charms. And look at that. I'm loving myself right now. Pretty cool. Now that one hangs around the neck. This one, I just, I used fabric instead of a hair tie. So you may want to do that as well. And I added a little loop up there at the side. This one, I love it because you just put it around your neck and it has a little fob at the end with some cat charms so thank you so much for stopping by the other cell phone bags will be uploaded so you can make those as well thank you and have a happy day and don't text and drive bye